At step 3, when your A-B test is running, there is really only one question you should answer. How long should your experiment run and when should you stop it? Well, in fact, you have to decide this before you start the test, but let's talk about this later. And for now, let's take a look at the two things that will define the duration of your test. The first one is something that we have already discussed several times, statistical significance. You can't stop your A-B test before collecting enough data points to make it conclusive, sure. But there is an other variable here. Well, it's more like a best practice, but it works really well for almost all online businesses. The rule of thumb is that your experiment should run for a minimum of two weeks and for a maximum of five weeks. Why is that? Okay, when you have a huge traffic stream, your A-B test will become statistically significant in two or three days. I had a few clients where they had so many visitors that their tests become statistically significant in less than one day. And that's great. But even then, you should not stop the experiment. You should still run it for a minimum of two weeks because of daily variation. Your users and visitors will act differently on weekdays and weekends. They will act differently even on Mondays and Tuesdays. So you want to collect data from all the days of the week. And just in case, you want to include all the days at least twice. As I said, it's only a rule of thumb, but it works very well most of the time. And why the maximum of five weeks? If your experiment has to run for more than five weeks because of the small sample size you have, well, that's just way too slow. Online businesses have to be faster than that. There are exceptions, of course, but again, if you don't have a big enough traffic stream, for now, I recommend using other ways to grow your business, more marketing to generate more traffic, or other research methods to learn about your audience. The conclusion is, calculate the expected duration of your test with the sample size calculators. If it's between two weeks and five weeks, you are good to go. If it's below two weeks, that's fine, but make sure that you will run your test for the minimum two weeks, and eventually, if your number is above five weeks, just do not run the test, or at least tweak it so its duration fits the two to five weeks rule. Just a final comment, Obviously, this duration rule doesn't apply to newsletter and email A-B tests where you send out all your emails at once, only to website and advertisement tests.